2015 Dodge Challenger Mopar Scat Pack 3 First Drive Review One of the hidden gems in the parking lot at Fiat Chrysler's annual What's New event at the Chelsea Proving Grounds was a 2015 Challenger that was born amid muscular RT shaker with an entry-level Hemi. The Mopar folks then outfitted it with their own aftermarket Scat Pack Kits 1, 2, and 3. These comprehensive packages are intended to allow shade tree enthusiasts to buy the horsepower they can afford then upgrade it as time and budgets allow. The packages are meant to, mostly, be incremental, that is, you don't buy package 2 by itself, you add it to a car with package 1 already installed. Here's how the horses add up. Step pack 1 opens up the breathing with a cold air induction, low restriction air filter, slightly roardier sounding catback exhaust system, a performance oil filter, and a reflashed engine control unit to ensure the spark advance and fuel systems make the most of the increased airflow. Every engine is unique, so the Mopar folks will tell you this kit can increase output by up to 20 horsepower and 22 pounds to foot, above the stock rating, which in the case of our automatic car is 375 horsepower and 400 pounds to foot. Mopar will be selling a limited run of 50 factory-built Dodge Charger Mopar 15 examples equipped with this gear, and in that installation they rated at plus 18 horsepower and pound to foot at a charge of $3,550, including additional appearance and suspension upgrades. The DIY Engine Performance Kit, which, like all SCAT Pack kits, includes all required installation hardware, gaskets, and so forth, sells for $2,495, $300 less for vehicles with a shaker hood, which already get the cold air intake. Dealer installation time is estimated at 4.5 hours. SCAT Pack 2 is the time-consuming one, as it involves some mild open-heart surgery, with the cylinder heads coming off to get a hotter camshaft, pushrods and performance valve springs, with tie bars to reinforce the rocker towers. The benefit can be as much as 56 horsepower and 30 pounds to foot above the stock engine. Don't try adding the Scat Pack 1 numbers to these, the one big hitch is realizing that power requires an ECU reflash that is not provided by Mopar, the recommended vendor is Aero Racing, and that is not emissions compliant, So think twice before installing this if you plan on driving the car on public roads and if it faces an annual smog test. The kit only costs $1,895, but you'll spend a lot more time on the install, the dealer flat rate estimate is more than 12 hours.